Hello, what's happening? Matt aka Lethal Frag. Today we're going to be talking about curbing your rage and what that does for you. Uh, I'll start off by saying I used to be quite the rager of a player. I used to rage a lot. And I found that it really wasn't helpful for my game. And <laughs> it's hard not to get angry because losing sucks. And nobody likes to die. And you start adding in factors like lag and all sorts of other stuff. You know, the game can get really frustrating really quick. I'm going to talk real quickly about the benefits of not playing angry and a few ways that you can maybe curb your anger towards the game a little bit. Obviously it's not easy, it's not an overnight transformation, but you know, I decided before Black Ops came out that I was going to not be as angry when I played and not stress it so much. And I found that that really benefited my game more than anything. You know, I think the reason for that is is you're not focusing on what you don't like about the game or, you know, that bullshit way you just died. You know, the laggy guy shooting you from uh, across the screen, you don't half clip into him. All these things add to your frustration and your rage, and it really compiles over time. If you have a really bad day and you're raging the entire time, you end up playing like six hours. It makes for, you know, a not very fun evening. So talking about ways to curb your rage, here's a really big one that I, you know, I decided I wanted to slow it down, but watch your kill cams. Especially if you get killed from a long range shot, make sure you watch that kill cam. Not only this will give you a second to cool off, but you'll, you'll discover some pretty cool angles people are shooting you from. Some of my best spots that I have have been picked up from watching the kill cam and seeing a sick angle from all the way across the map, which are the shots that I really like to do anyways. Uh, but, you know, when I was playing angry, I just instantly hit that kill cam button, and, you know, off we went to get killed again. You know, another big thing you can do is just, you just gotta let the lag go, and it's so hard to do because lag is, like, the number one cause of rage. But look past the lag, and, I mean, obviously sometimes you die, and you just simply should not have died, and maybe you're one off your kill streak, and that sucks. But say, okay, I died because I'm lagging, and look for the next step. You know, you're lagging, oh, and the enemy's spawning there now. Or, oh, the enemy spawns about to flip, and then somebody spawned behind me, that's why I died. I should probably call that on my teammate, rather than saying, oh, that was some bullshit lag, this game sucks. Go, oh, they're spawning over here now, you know, I just got shot in the back. Even if you turned around and shot a half clip into the guy, rather than... Expressing your emotion in a negative way, you can turn that into something positive. Maybe get a win out of your laggy game. I'm really happy they're bringing on dedicated servers for Modern Warfare 3. I think that's something the franchise really needed. But, I mean, people that have played on dedicated servers, you know that that's not a cure-all for lag. That's really not... It doesn't fix doesn't fix at all. It, it evens the playing field a little bit, but you're, you're still going to lag, and you're still going to have those moments that just make you want to explode. It, you'll find just anger in general in life and whatever it's toxic you know the more angry you are the more the more negative you feel the more negative you feel the more negative things happen to you you know it's it's just the way the way that it goes I, I honestly believe that it, it the more negative your thinking is you know, the more negative things will happen to you because you have that mindset of everything's gonna go wrong and this really carries over to gaming. You know, if you're really pissed off at the game all the time, it, you know, it'll translate into your real life. You'll be pissed off at other stuff because you had, you know, a horrible day. God forbid, a horrible week or a horrible month. I know I've had those where nothing just seems to be going your way, but yet you really enjoy playing the game, so you keep playing it. And then eventually your frustrations just pile up to the point where you're not happy anymore. You know, I can speak that gaming is a huge part of my life, so, and especially in the past, you know, you're spending six, eight hours playing a game all the time, and if you're angry for most of that time, you know, it's just, it's not beneficial to anyone. Some of the people that I really dislike playing with are the angry people, and not just, not just angry or complaining, but people that are constantly blaming lag or whatever 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 annoys them you know ghost oh campers oh how could that guy be laying prone there etc etc and they 
obviously it's frustrating sometimes people that say it every time they die they blame it on you know lag or the way the person was camping and, you know you're gonna run into those people playing online there's just no way around it people are gonna do some greasy stuff I think a really great example of this is when the map pack just dropped in hotel in those elevators on hotel I remember playing a game I think it was my third game I played in hotel and there was literally four guys camping both the elevators and we totally lost the game by like 3500 points just off of those guys camping the elevators you know one of them got dogs about six minutes in and we were all pissed off and rather than communicating or coming up with a strategy to get those guys out of the elevators we all just kept running in one after one and then screaming at them when they killed us with their motion sensor set up and really that's how it goes yeah, being angry gets in your way to communicate with your teammates you know take out a couple expletives and you know communicate something to your team if you watch your entire kill cam you will see something that will be a cue for when you respawn you know you can watch a kill cam and you can see three people spawn next to somebody and then you know exactly where they just spawned and you have a better bearing when you respawn and i will point out that your score per minute and most other stats are by time played and being in the kill cam does not count towards your time played so actually watching your kill cams if you're uh... If you're a good player, can actually up your score per minute because that's time you're not spent trying to figure out where the team is on the field. You're watching the kill cam to gain information. And if you, like I said, if you get killed from a long range, there's a pretty good chance that that person's still going to be sitting there when you come back. So if you understand exactly where that angle sees, you'll find a weak point or you'll be able to pop back in that same spot and shoot them across the map. I'm using B 52 in this one. Don't use that very often. I always miss with it. But yeah, you'll find uh, you know, when you stop being so angry at the game, you just have more fun. And the more fun you have, you know, the more enjoyable your experience is. Especially if you're uh, you play a lot, it's really important to enjoy yourself. I'm gonna try to take this a step further when we get into Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3, and especially with Battlefield, since I haven't played a Battlefield game more than a couple hours at a friend's, um, I'm not going to be raging at Battlefield at all. I'm just going to use it as purely a learning experience. And I think I'll do, I think I'll be okay, but I'm not going to be up to probably my expectation or my standard I set for myself for that game. And that's going to be perfectly fine. I'm just going to have to let that go, and I'm preparing to do that before the game even comes out, because I know if I take it seriously and try to be really good at Battlefield, I'm probably going to end up being frustrated and not playing it very much. You know, that totally defeats the purpose. That's not what, what I'm trying to do with gaming, is just have a good time. I took it so much more serious when I was younger, and probably because I, you know, I was good. I thought I was good, and I was. But taking it serious actually didn't help me be better. I'm a much better player now as far as my you know my mental state than I ever have been and it's really amazing the benefits that just the positive thinking has had on me I'll just say again dude I cannot I cannot tell you the importance of watching your kill cams regardless of what game you play especially when a game first comes out watch every single kill cam maybe if a guy runs at you straight up close and you know how you got killed that's fine but like I said, you'll see things in that kill cam that maybe you couldn't see from your angle. You'll see people camping to the left or the right of the person that just shot you that you had no angle for. So at least take a peek and look at that kill cam and figure out where you're getting killed from. Pick up some great angles and as well as save yourself a little bit of rage because you'll have a second to calm down. You can use that period to vent. Rather than yelling as soon as you respawn, you're totally not focused. So I'm going to try to become a completely zen gamer. I don't think it'll... It's not going to happen overnight, maybe not even a year from now. But that's all I got. Frag out.